Yeah. Uh, this weekend, actually. I'm moving not that far away, I would say, just about like a quarter mile. Yeah. Definitely plan on getting a projector so that when I do collabs with people on Hangouts like this, I can have them on my wall so it's a lot easier. Yep. So, uh, what do you think we're going to see in, um, seven? The last night? Transform last night? No, Transform seven. Which one? The one that's going to be after Bumblebee. Chicago. Yeah. I think, in my opinion, that, of course, depending on the events of the last night, and like you said in your stream, you don't watch Alex to influence your opinion on anything. Um, but in my opinion, I think that Bumblebee's going to die in the last night, have his solo film, and that's why he's going to get it. And in... At the beginning of the seventh film, he's going to be revived by Unicron as a Decepticon. If Unicron does survive. Okay. Just like um, the original movie. Megatron was killed, he was reformed into Galvatron. He ain't coming out unscathed. Right. We saw in the trailer his arms get ripped off. I mean, not his arms, his wings. He gets sliced in the face by Prime. And um, in the poster, his arm is ripped off.
Well, except for um the first one. He's probably, oh, I lost what I was thinking. Oh, they're probably going to go back to their original roots of the first film when he lost his legs. Okay. So that would be pretty interesting. That's actually what really frustrated me about Revenge of the Fallen, about how his legs got blown off in the first film, and they're just magically back in the second film. That's a big plot hole. Yeah, I was watching some Alex um the other day and he was talking about how um he hopes they address um how Galvatron became Megatron again in the last night. Like I hate I hated that human form. It disgusted me to be made by humans. I really hope they do and I hope they don't cheap out and make it the the little particles again. Bay Formers got really lazy in the fourth film. That would be a good name for a Transformers film Transformers versus the Dissolvers. I think it was even better in 3D. Yeah. It just moving at you. That's not what I am. Here's the main question. Who do you think is going to die out of the new Autobots in Last Night? In the Last Night? Yeah. Whether it's the hot rod does it, whether it's the Mazzilla does it, yes. So the 
Kind of like that Age of Extinction scene when he was fighting them off, and he was, and we all thought, well, he's gonna die, and it's gonna be really sad watching this amazing Autobot destroy some things and die. Almost like Jazz, except Jazz got ripped in half. I feel like Hound would be a fitting death if he goes out like a warrior, because that was his purpose. And he was killed easily. And Canopy. Cut the crap before I shove a grenade down your throat. <laughs> that is my favorite hound line ever. Right, right. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, um, but if, if, if that's what I would have to choose out of the other Autobots, I would choose hound. Because I, I do not want the Corsair to die. I don't need to. to die. I do not want Hot Rod to die. Definitely not Hot Rod. If Hot Rod die, if like you said, if Prime dies, and since Bumblebee can only turn into Gold Bug and become a leader, but he can't become a Prime, like you said in that live stream, only Hot Rod can take up that spot, because he was known in G two as Rodimus Prime. Isn't going to die. And it's not a thing. It was never canon and it never will be. No. It's how it works. Like, who is this person? Yeah, I have some friends at school that are always wondering when I'm drawing a G1 or G2 character. Like, who's that? Oh, it's this character from the films, but in G1 form. And one of my friends, um, his name is Charlie Palmer. And when I was drawing Rodimus Prime, he's just like, who's that? It's Hot Rod's um, Prime form in G2. And he's just like, who's Hot Rod? Um, last night, man. Look at the last night thing. He's the Lamborghini. Yep. That isn't locked down, and hopefully won't be a total waste of time. I just hope they make a Hot Rod solo film one day, and that it'll be based on him as a prime. Now, you see, that would actually be more beneficial, because we kind of know Bumblebee. We've seen him since Bumblebee. And we know we've seen Bumblebee. We kind of understand him to a, to a certain extent. Hot Rod is one of the things, you know, 
never met him. We haven't even heard about him in anything. Right. And now we're just now getting these characters. Right. It would make sense that he'd be more beneficial to, like, the viewers and the audience to get a solo simple podcast. I think I really hope that in the last night um, they cover the Bumblebee and Hot Rod Brother in Arms dynamic that they're gunning for because they weren't like that in like animated or G1 or G2 so animated it was Stinger and they killed him so now they have to work around Hot Rod That's going to be pretty interesting. That would be cool. It would be interesting. And, you know, I feel like because, like, like when Michael Bay actually had all of those writers sit down together and they looked at the entire trilogy, they looked at all the series in the past and G1, and they developed not only The Last Night, they developed what you most stated. And I feel that hopefully <laughs> one of those stories will include the Bumblebee thing. I think because Ken Nolan is writing this and he is the brother of Christopher Nolan who wrote the um, Dark Knight trilogy, which is by far the best Batman trilogy we've ever gotten and will be that forever. He's going to bring everything he could to the table and it's probably going to beat Revenge of the Fallen for me because a lot of people don't like Revenge of the Fallen. I am one of those people that love it even though it's consistent with plot holes and gaps and things like that it just holds a very interesting thing in my heart that won't ever let go so maybe last night we'll take that from him the fallen the fallen will die again Pixie dust. dust. Nearly got killed by Megatron. And then he came back. Because of the Prime. Primes are miracle workers, unless they're not the Fallen. I keep getting alerts from Time Run Madness. Yep. Great time to be a Transformers fan. Just like two years ago, it was a great time to be a Star Wars fan when Force Awakens started dropping. And everybody was excited for that. I was pumped out of my mind. Because my bio says on Instagram, Star Wars, DC, Marvel, and then Transformers and other nerd memorabilia. The reason Transformers is at the end because it was the first franchise I, I was ever introduced to. That was a full length. Okay. Wow, wow. The only Transformers film I have ever seen in theaters, though, and it is um, not at a tie with Age of Extinction, but it, I do consider it better, was Dark of the Moon, and I saw it in 3D. Mm -hmm. I was just, and I just fathomed 
at the fact of how beautiful it looked. Especially with, um, what's his name? Um, uh, I forgot his name, but, um, whoever played Jerry, and when he pulled out the guns at Laserbeak and he started shooting at him. Yeah. Now, that really did take the cake for me, and especially Laserbeak transforming into a purple, um, not purple, pink bumblebee. That was pretty funny. I wasn't laughing. I was actually pretty terrified. Because it was one of my favorite Transformers with red eyes and pink, and pink terrified me as a kid. For some reason. I think it just reminded me of hippies so much. But I was always okay when I was watching Power Rangers and I saw the Pink Ranger. Probably because she was hot. <laughs> it's true, man. Especially Kimberly. Definitely Kimberly. Um, one quick thing. I recorded half of it, and I recorded the half about talking about movies because toys wasn't really a thing that we needed to talk about. Maybe if we did another collab pretty soon, because maybe we can do one next weekend. We should do one every weekend now. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Um, and... Collab schedule. Yep. Welcome. <laughs> really looking forward to next weekend. You too. Man. Take care, bro. You too. So yeah, guys, that was my collab with the Alphonse Nation. Um, real cool dude. Um, really hope I get to meet him in person one day. If he ever comes to a BotCon, I'll probably go and meet up with him. Because that sounds pretty dope. Um, yeah, Domos, always stay cool. Always be supportive. And until next time, always remember, Domos eat everything.